This is Will Week 27, and 27 is 3 cubed, so to celebrate Will Week 27, I actually have 3 cubes of ice, uh, you can see in there, and I actually have no idea what I'm going to do with these 3 cubes, but what I do know is that... Uh, there were 3 cubes of ice in here, and they melted, and now my pants are all wet. Because when I poured the water on them, I got scared and I peed myself. <laughs> Today is Monday, April 9th, and today I learned what a sound witch is. And you're probably like, oh, what's a sound witch? I've never heard of that. And it's because I just made it up. <laughs> Let me explain the situation to you, and, th and then you'll get what it is. I was in class on this Monday, and someone in the front row raised their hand and asked a question, and our teacher took it. And when a teacher takes a question in the front of a room, usually the back half of the room just stops paying attention. <laughs> and so when that girl asked a question, the back half of the room stopped paying attention. Which usually isn't a big deal, except... I was in the back half of the classroom. So our amazing math teacher takes this girl's question in the front row and immediately two people right in front of me and two people right behind me start having conversations. And they're not like loud crazy conversation, they're just whispers. But when they're on both sides of you, the noise feels inescapable. And that is what a sandwich is. It's a term I made up because it's like you're in a sandwich of sound. Clever. I know. And so when the teacher was done with the question in the front row, he just moved on to, you know, the lesson, and these people kept talking. The sound which was still in full effect. And so our teacher was saying stuff, and I just kept hearing about Susie's lip balm and Trevor's football game, and I was like, this is... This is the worst thing ever. So yes, I learned what a sound which is. Uh, it's a term I made up, and you can feel free to use it if you want. I don't know when you would use it, but it is... it's yours. All yours, yep, I'm just that I'm just that great of a person. Today is Tuesday, April 10th, and today I learned about a frat at UC Davis called Theta Phi Alpha, mm -mm, no, Beta? No, that doesn't sound right either. No, it was Theta. Theta Phi Pi, I think it is. Theta Phi, yeah, no, that sounds right. Theta Phi Pi, we'll go with that. And Theta Phi Pi was a really cool frat. They were really nice guys. Their president, or their, like, leader guy, their cult leader? No. <laughs> uh, no, their president, I'm just gonna say. Their president's name was Sean. Uh, clearly didn't leave a big enough impression on me. No, they were great. Theta Phi Pi is amazing. Uh, they got me to play a couple card games. They got me some free pizza from Costco. Maybe that's the only reason I like them. No, no, no. God, I sound like the worst. But I'm not the one in the frat, so... <laughs> no. There's nothing wrong with frats. Okay, oh, sorry. Let's... Sorry. And they were really nice guys. If I had more time, and I, you know, I said this to people, I was like, if I had more time, I would totally join their frat. They were super nice. And they also taught me something, and that is called a dry frat, and it's what they are. And a dry frat doesn't mean a frat full of just super deadbeat guys. No, no. A dry frat is a frat that doesn't allow alcohol in their house. But that doesn't mean they don't have parties with alcohol. You see, they told me there's a very easy workaround to being a dry frat and wanting to have a party with alcohol. You just do it at like a different frat's house. So, yeah, no, you still have parties with alcohol, just not in their own house, which is a really interesting concept. I feel like you could be like a freeloader using that rule. Like, what if I said, oh, I'm a dry house. Uh, we don't allow TV watching um, in my house. But if you go to our friend's house, you can watch their TV and then you just use all of their TV. No one even watches TV anymore. Netflix. That is, that's pretty much what people watch. Oh, and YouTube. Uh, I think people watch YouTube. I have no idea. I heard it's like some new website or something. Just checking. See them. There's some time in the future that my jokes will get good. So yes, yeah, Sean the cult, uh, damn it. Uh, Sean the frat leader, president, principal, president. I don't, I don't know. Your frat's super cool. I just, I just don't have time. So. Sorry. Today is Wednesday, April 11th, and today I learned that Pokemon Go actually forces you to go outside and walk around. Um, you can't, you can't cheat. <laughs> actually, cheat's the wrong word. I didn't even cheat. I, I did it legit. I still walked around. It just, they kind of want you to go outside and walk around. You'll just watch the clip. This egg is 0.1 kilometers from hatching, and I haven't hatched a Pokemon egg in a long time, so I'm kind of impatient right now. So I have the perfect solution. <laughs> Kind of dizzy. I 
I just got really dizzy. <laughs>